How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, we're going to finish off Vlad's uh, Vlad Jr.'s career. A lot of you guys in the comment section after the first video really wanted me to simulate all the way until we finished his career. So I figured, you know what? I stay, I kept the save file. I normally delete the files afterwards. So let's go back. Let's take a look at the rest of his career. We're heading into the 11th season now. So I think it'll definitely be towards the end of his career. He probably has seven eight more seasons but i definitely think it'll be interesting to see with what kind of stats he finishes off so if you guys want to see some more videos career sims like this make sure you hit the like button down below subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content and as always let me know in the comment section what you guys want to see next i know i've been slacking on the rebuilds i know i've been slacking on the royals franchise i'm getting to them i really am um so they, they will be coming today's video is going to be this tomorrow you you will definitely have a royals franchise or a rebuild i promise um, we'll, we'll get back onto the grind with those rebuilds. So, without any further ado, so you guys finished the 10 year season with, or the, yeah, the 10 year part, the first part with Vlad. And this is where we were standing so far 384 home runs. He has 1,500 hits, just about. His career average is 284. So, he's actually pretty solid in terms of his stats. He's got some really good stats already, almost at 400 home runs um you know halfway to 3000 hits so so far so good so i'm kind of interested to see can he get those 3000 hits maybe hit 500 home runs that'd be pretty cool to see so let's hop into this season let's take a look how the season ends and then we'll kind of start breaking it up start looking at what seasons we need to look at depending on if he wins any awards or anything like that so i'll catch you guys in a sec okay so the blue jays won the division so let's let's see how vlad did did he have any league leading stats doesn't look like it maybe an award nope no award there so let's take a look see how he did he's actually decreasing by quite a bit at the age of 32 that's pretty interesting so what that was what seven ratings to eight ratings something like that since last season i kind of forgot where he was um maybe it was le maybe it's less than that i already forgot where he was at the start of the season but you guys can see you know his attributes versus lefties really started to decrease um and actually just across the board a lot of them are starting to decrease very quickly he did have a really good season still you know almost 300 average um, uh, over 100 rbis almost 40 home runs so he's still putting up good numbers but at the same time his stats are decreasing so quickly, which I don't understand. He's only 30. There's other players that are developing even past their 30s. Um, like Bo Bichette's 31. He's still at a 98. Uh, let's see who else. I think O'Neal Cruz, he's 30. He's going down as well. But when you look at like someone like Anthony Alford, he's just now going down. And he's 34. So I don't really understand the whole like system of who goes up in rating who goes down in rating i just don't understand that i feel like you know it's just so random and especially with a player like vlad who's doing so well consistently why would he go down what is bothering him so much that um apparently he's being a platoon player but he's getting 500 at bats there's not a there's no reason why a seven decrease in morale would actually hurt him so i mean so far so good with his stats and everything like he's still looking like he's putting up good numbers he's you know still kind of holding a high rating so let's see how he does in the playoffs alrighty so they were eliminated by the athletics in the ALCS that's correct ALCS so let's take a look at um how he did in the playoffs so a 391 average four home runs nine RBIs and 23 at bats again he's doing very well but yet his stats are going down. So it'll be interesting to see how he continues throughout his career. This was season 11. If anything else, like an MVP or any sort of awards uh, pop up, if he gets traded, something like that. If anything like that pops up, I'll show you. If not, I'm thinking we're going to go to year 15, see how things go. Talk about his previous seasons and stuff. So I'll catch you guys in a sec. All right. So I accidentally uh, passed through it, but the... Blue Jays traded Vlad Jr. for Vidal Bruhan, the, sh the second baseman. Um, he So he went to the A's. I can show you that, guys, in a second. Hold on. Let me get there. Um, 
There was another player involved, but he's a low rated player. I think it was just a little a small player to get uh, the trade through. But here, Vlad is now with the A's. You guys can see last season, you know, it, a big dip in run production. The average is still there on base percentage. Slugging OPS is still high, but, you know, it's looking like he got less at bats and stuff like that. So it's really starting like it's starting to look like his his overall is starting to hurt him. Like you definitely can see the lower he drops less he's going to get involved in the team which which sucks because he's still putting up very good numbers but again you know his overall is just dropping so quickly for some reason and i don't understand it so this was season 12 let's see how the rest of the stuff pans out in his 13th season i know i said it was his 12th but his 13th season he did get traded to the a's and you guys can see again you know he played in more games he had more at bats than the previous season but home runs and rbis it's really starting to show that you know i think i think his his run in the mlb is is coming pretty close to an end uh he dropped a good amount i think he dropped seven overall this season um so this was this was a rough season for him he basically is useless against lefties which is crazy to think that a right-handed hitter definitely hits righties so much better than lefties but you know his fielding's low his speed's going down all of his hitting stats are going down. So at this point, I think this is a good part just to kind of simulate till the end of his career. Um, you kind of, I've given you like kind of a three season um, look into the like his 11th, 12th and 13th season. So at this point, we're just going to simulate to the end of his career, see how he does, take a look at the rest of his career as a whole. And then um, hopefully he can get 24 more home runs and hit that 500 home run club. That'd be pretty cool to see. But this is where it's gonna you know stop being a year to year um you know part of the video and we'll just look at the rest of his season rest of his career at a whole so i'll catch you guys once we find out he retires Alrighty, heading into the 16th season so ending this 15th going into the 16th you guys can see vlad is not on the a's mlb roster so i decided to take a quick peek and we can see he's a 62 overall sitting in AAA. And it kind of looks like last season he sat in AAA as well because he's still he's still on the A's. So he's he's not he's not in free agency. He just he just didn't play at all last year, which probably contributed to the fact that that's why he dropped off so much. He's a 62 overall, and it's kind of looking like this, these are gonna be his final stats, unfortunately. I don't really see him sticking in the majors too much longer. I'm going to sim out this year, but I just wanted to give you a quick little update at season 15 heading into 16. All right. So 44 years old, 54 overall. He finally retires as a Kansas City Royal. We'll take a look at his stats. You guys can see he's been kind of up and down. It seems like I feel like he was signed with the team but he was just in the minors because he has an at-bat one at-bat with the Cubs but then nothing else and then nothing then he signs with the Royals has a full season with the Royals um, two seasons with nothing he played for the Cardinals for it looks like most of the season most of the season with the Marlins a little bit with the Mariners so since I talked about him being with the athletics and seeing like it's gonna be the end of him soon he went an extra, what, two, four, six, what? He went an extra, like, ten seasons, it almost seems like. Um, he just would not retire. He kept playing with different teams, and these are going to be his final stats. So, 554 home runs, 1,562 RBIs, a 281 average, 2,376 hits, Man, this is, this is a pretty long career. He went to the age of 44. You guys can see he's 54 overall. Um, 21 contact versus lefties. 36 power versus lefties. Good, Decent hitting stats versus righties still. But overall, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm finally glad he retired. I've been like just simming through season after season after season. And he just would not retire. So there he is. We will see if he is a hall of famer and i i i was 100 sure he was going to be you know 554 homers good amount of hits crazy amount of rbis almost 100 steals even so throughout his career vlad guerrero jr he goes until he's 44 he retires as a member of the royals and he also 
is a 2042 inductee to the hall of fame so that's where we're gonna wrap it up guys i hope you enjoyed this second part of the vladimir guerrero jr career sim if you did make sure you hit the like button down below subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content and as always let me know in the comment section which player you would like to see next i really didn't think he was going to go till he's 44 this was this was crazy but i'll catch you all in the next video peace